Hi everyone! Happy spring! It is March 26th and I am going to be planting some bulbs today. Some spring bulbs. I had planted these daffodils last fall and they're just starting to come up now. This is a garden bed that I have in front of my house. It's mostly just some daylilies, a couple different types of daylilies. I have a Celadoro, which are the yellow ones, and then I have an even paler yellow called Happy Returns. But I like these daffodils here, and I am going to be planting some bulbs. I'm going to show you now what I'm going to plant. So the bag is getting a little destroyed. I had it out in the rain. I'm planting some Sarah Bernhardt peonies, and I do have some of these already that were on the property um, when my husband bought the property. So. Um, I already have some sour burn heart, but I love them, so I'm excited to plant those. And then these gaucho lilies, there's six of them in the bag, and then there's three night beacon day lilies. So I'll be planting all that today. And let me just show you a quick peek at the um, lilac shrubs that I bought recently as well. So I have some lilac shrubs on the property. I have three shrubs, three large shrubs. And as you can see, they are starting to just bud out and those little purple, it's hard to see with the, there, I'm trying to zoom in. Those little purple um, buds are going to be the blooms. So there's a lot of purple buds on this particular lilac and it'll probably be about three to four weeks before this blooms. Um, but it's a really nice lilac shrub. It's in front of our house. Um, so I'll show that when that blooms. And then last year I bought a, um, I believe it's a reblooming lilac shrub. It's supposed to be a shorter variety called Josie. And it did grow, um, but it did also got nibbled on a little bit. And it struggled initially. Um, I planted it last spring. So I, I am excited to see this bloom. It's supposed to be pink blooms. And in the background there, that is um, Sweet William. So those will be pink blooms. And then um, there's some daffodils that I had just mentioned that I, I'm excited to see pop up. And then I just planted two more of these lilac shrubs. Um, and they won't bloom, these new ones won't bloom this year. I think there's, it's a two year old plant. It came just like this. I planted it a few days ago. I got it from Costco and it will bloom next year just like the one I just showed you. So I have one here. This one that will bloom. It's in the middle that will bloom this spring. And then I planted one more down here. So lilacs do take a while to bloom. Um, but then you'll have years of lilac blooms and lilacs smell amazing in the spring. So now I'm going to get to planting all my other bulbs. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. This is the Daylily Night Beacon. I need to plant these uh, just one inch deep and 20 inches apart. Now my daylilies, I usually divide them every four years. You can divide them every three years if you want, but I wait usually every four years. Um, so you can see it's already starting to green up in the bag here. So I'll be planting that today. The other one is the Sarah Bernhardt peonies and you can't plant peonies too deep. This one just says plant an inch deep and then 36 inches apart. And there's three of them in this bag. And then the gaucho, um, which is an oriental lily that will get pretty tall. Um, this one you plant six inches deep and then eight inches apart. So I'm going to plant these in various spots in the garden. And I'll show you a few more clips of uh, what the garden looks like in late March. Okay, so this is what the garden is looking like right now. Um, it's like I said, it's March 26th, so there's a lot of leaves in here and just some old, um, you know, plant debris that I need to clean up. I have a lot of perennials in my garden and then I 
plant some annuals um, every year. This is a crepe myrtle that leaves out very late in the spring. And this is another lilac shrub. And then over here, this is a, um, a tree that we put in here two years ago. It was a tiny bare root. Um, it is a rosebud tree, and I don't think it will bloom for a couple more years. And I'm actually worried it's may not be alive uh, because it's been nibbled on by the deer. Um, like every branch has been nibbled on. Um, some of the branches are black at the at the ends. So I'm just going to keep a close eye on this and just see if it um, starts to leaf out. Um, but I may be moving this because it's sort of like in the middle of our um, lawn here. But I do love, love rosebud trees. It's just um, disappointing that the deer have been nibbling on it. And then over here is where I'm thinking about planting some of the peonies. I have a couple peonies right here and you can see every spring they send up these little red shoots. So I have one here and one here. And then I'll, most of my peonies are over in this garden bed over here. I have eight different peony plants and you can just see the red coming through now. So I have um, eight different peony plants in this bed. So I'm going to try to fit one more, one Sarah Bernhard over here and then I will put um, a couple over um, over in this bed over here where there where I just showed you a couple. So um, I'm gonna take care of that right now. So I am trying to get my peonies about three feet apart and I already have a peony right over here, peony plant. So this is about three feet. And as you can see, it already has these pink eyes on it. And it's hopeful that it will bloom. Maybe we'll get one or two blooms next year, but more than likely I'll have to wait a couple years for the, this to bloom. Um, I, did re I did transplant some of my peonies, or I moved, you know, moved some a few years ago, and it took two to three years for them to bloom. I, can't, I think it was even three years. So um, I was reading somewhere that as long as you have three eyes, when you divide your peonies, you might um, be able to get blooms the following year. But I have found that I've had to wait sometimes three years for the peonies to bloom after dividing them. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm not, not going to put too much soil over this. They shouldn't be planted too deeply. Just about an inch under the soil. And I'm going to pat this down and it is starting to rain. So I'm going to do the rest of my bulbs um, tomorrow or next weekend. Also last year I planted a lot of foxgloves. I started those in the basement as well and they were supposed to bloom the first year and a couple of them did bloom but they were very insignificant blooms. This is called um, peach foxglove and it's not a very tall one but this one is was planted too close to the house. I'm going to move this into another garden bed. Down here I have a daylily that needs to be divided. You can tell because it's making a circular ring. Um, so you can tell when you have that look that you need to divide your lilies. So this lily is my only red lily, um, red with a little bit of yellow in the center. I don't know the name of the variety, but I will be dividing this. Um, the deer seem to really like this lily and they nibble on it a lot. So, um, you know, I, luckily I have a lot of lilies, so I end up having a lot of them bloom even though they do, deer do like to nibble on lilies. But I'm going to divide this and keep some of this here and move some to other spots in the garden. So what I've done is I've taken my shovel over here and I have just gone around the base of the plant, digging the whole thing up, and then I've split it into fourths. So I am going to just move three plants elsewhere and replant one-fourth of this clump back into the soil. 